grace, grace to my royal priesthood family, because this word of the Lord today, this scripture is truly going to need the grace of God for us to effectively and sufficiently walk in it according to God's way. Turn with me, if you will, to Luke 6, verse 28 through 30. I'm going to read it from the Message Bible. I pray that you all are having a great day thus far on this beautiful Thursday. This is day nine of the daily scriptures for today. We're marching forward in the things of God. Um, every scripture is not going to tickle our fancy, if you will. There are going to be some scriptures that are going to challenge us. But with the help of God, we will uh, persevere. We will walk in victory and we will pass the test, if you will. Luke 6, 28 through 30, the Message Bible reads, To you who are ready for the truth, I say this, love your enemies. Let them bring out the best in you, not the worst. When someone gives you a hard time, respond with the, uh, I think that's supposed to be simple moves of prayer for that person. If someone slaps you in the face, stand there and take it. Help us, Jesus. If someone grabs your shirt, gift wrap your best coat and make a present of it. If someone takes unfair advantage of you, use the occasion to practice the servant life. No more payback. Live generously. Now, I'm going to tell my royal priesthood family, you know I am very transparent, but I too am a partaker of this word. It's by the grace of God and with the help of God that you're going to be able to do that. You're going to have to allow God to posture your heart and your mind. And when you really see the, the real intent behind your enemies, and when you see the real spirit that's driving them to do what they're doing towards you, I'm not saying it's going to feel good, and I'm not condoning what they're doing, but you are truly allow Luke 6, 28, and 30 to take residency in your heart because you know that even your enemies work for you. I'm going to say it again. Even your enemies work for you in Christ Jesus. And whatever the devil has meant for your evil and meant for your bad concerning your enemies, even that is going to work together for your good. I heard my mentor say it like this. You got to bless your soul. You got to pray for your soul. See, David had an opportunity to get Saul back. He had every advantage to get Saul back. But David chose to bless him and not curse him. David chose to, to give him honor when Saul was giving him dishonor. David chose to do the will of God concerning Saul. And he allowed God to vindicate him. And we know the story. God did such. He became the king. He, he ruled and he reigned and he dominated. And we're not even talking about the arrows and mistakes that David made. We're focusing on this content. That, that that you don't render evil for evil. When you sit back and you truly allow God to be God in the situation, you will truly understand what I mean, that your enemies even work for you. He'll make your enemies your footstool. He will cause your enemies to bless you when they were sent by the devil to curse you. But you got to take your hand off the matter. You got to allow God to be God in that situation. And you got to confess it and be honest with God and say, God, nothing in me or nothing in my flesh want to do Luke 6, 28 through 30. Nothing in my flesh want to bless them. Nothing, nothing in my flesh want to do good by them. But nevertheless, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. Help me to truly walk out this word so that I can receive the reward in the end. So I prophetically decree and declare Luke 6, 28 and 30 over our lives. And by faith, I release the grace of God and the stamina of God and the strength of God to be your portion. And I truly encourage you to release your enemies in the hands of God. And when you have an opportunity to get them back, respectfully decline and say, the Lord got me in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you.
Oh, it was subtle moves in prayer. S U P P L A. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Supple. 